Hey guys, just leaving the Walmart. Got a video request from, I don't know how to say it. Please drive to highlighted route. Newt Blaze or Nut Blaze. I had a few topics they wanted discussed and I'm gonna talk about two of them that kind of fit together and then we'll, they asked about visa stuff for international travel and we'll get into that in a video more about that stuff but two of the topics they asked about one was whatever happened with purchasing a property what's the update with that and then the other question is do I have an update of how it's going with the rental property I purchased when I left work so we'll talk about that first and it's gone great there was like any time, it was the same way with the other property I own, the house that I purchased in my 20s. Uh, Turn right on Ballplay Road. It took a while to pay it off, but that's when I think I was in like 27 or in my late 20s, uh, 27 or 28. And I paid that off when I was 39 or something. That house, uh, I had the same kind of similar experience. You just got to get the right renters in there. That's what it really comes down to. Uh, a lot of people have commented and said, especially after I talked about the 1% rule with real estate, which is just a guideline to see if something's a good investment, to see if it'll return 1% as a rental based on what you put into it, purchase and improvements. Um, that's a rule of thumb. Uh, that second property I got that I bought when I retired the trailer, I actually get about more like a 2% return on that. Uh, but still, you know, a lot of people were commenting and saying you can get 2.5% or something now on CDs. I know there's things that are higher sometimes, but people, so when I get a comment like that, they say CDs are at 2.5% now, okay? I understand you're excited, but that suggests that they weren't there five years ago, a couple years ago, certainly a decade ago. So how long does that higher interest rate sustain? My opinion, and I'm not an investment guy, but it seems to me that the rental thing's a lot more stable. Once you get good tenants, they're going to live there for years. The guy I have renting my house, uh, gosh... I don't imagine he's ever going to move out of there. He loves it. He's in his 60s, I think, maybe well into his 60s by now, and he could just uh, live there the rest of his life. So it could be 20 more years uh, that he's renting that house, or at least, you know, a good chunk of that. So that's kind of my thoughts on that. I think real estate's great. I don't think you should really be in that 100%. You got to diversify some, and I am diversified some, maybe not as much as I should be, but I do have some other stuff going, and I will be getting more other stuff going. But yes, yeah, so far with the property, awesome. I at this rate, I would have it paid off in six or eight years. I mean, it's already paid off. I bought it with cash, but what I mean is it will pay for itself through not rents but profits. I'm basing this off profits, what I actually make after all my expenses and as far as buying a property it just uh, it doesn't make sense for me right now is the bottom line if I had more income I'd have enough money to keep a place going full-time even while I'm away um, and I might have enough money now but it's stretching a little thin and for me only to live there part of the year it's not worth it so I'm just gonna wait on that uh, I got pretty overwhelmed with the whole search. I got pretty overwhelmed with a lot of things. I had a lot of things. Uh, <laughs> it's no joke. I kind of felt like I was losing my mind. I told that to people, and I don't know if they understood how serious I was being. Uh, but I was in a pretty rough spot there for a while. I was just in a, the most discomfort I've ever been in in my life. I mean, aside from recovering from the eye surgeries, which was kind of quite a temporary thing, you know, it wasn't a super long, it took a while, but it wasn't, you know, it was like an expected thing. Anyway, kind of rambling now. 
Hope that answers your question, Nut or Newt. And anyone else, comments, questions, video requests, askwillanything at gmail.com. And I'll see you next time, YouTube.